the hate army troll. He's the hate army, bro. Hate army. Shout that out guy. to hate. hate. Army. Good vibes to the Shout hate out to army. Hate. Shout out to hate. Shout out Shout to out hate. hate. Shout out to hate. Shout out for Shout hate. Out for hate. <laughs> we made it. We waited it out. It took ages, but it's finally happening. All right. One last thing I want to talk about. Real quick, because then I want to do some shout outs and if we have time for QA. So there's been a suggestion made. <clears throat> I like the suggestion, excuse me. However, I just don't know how I'm going to implement it. I'm going to leave the DSPN logo because it has to do with DSPN notably. Basically, here's the deal. Actually, you know what? Now, nah, we'll, we'll, it's not technically news, it's an idea. So let's go back. As you know, I do these different segments of the show, <clears throat> correct? Sometimes a certain segment is the highlight of the show. Like, that, that story about Activision Blizzard buyout is pr pretty much a big highlight of the news segment of today, correct? That's what people probably want to know about the most if they were going to watch me cover news. Well, what's happened is I do this show once a day. It's a long podcast. It lasts anywhere from an hour to an hour and a half, and there's a ton of topics covered. Well, how do you find the content in the show you want to watch? Well, we have AI timestamps that every day get posted on the show. So if you're watching the news show, you're like, oh, I wonder what's in today's show. You check the description. You'll see all these AI timestamps. You'll be able to jump to what you want. But <clears throat> what some YouTubers have found very successful <clears throat> is if they run a podcast like me, they will do excerpts of certain topics and split those videos off as separate videos. So imagine if we did a podcast excerpt that was only five or 10 minutes long, just covering that buyout story and the Bobby Kotick leaving Activision Blizzard story. And that was a separate video, right? Simply putting that out on my channel, some people might find that and find the channel and watch that content and say, oh, I like that. So he covers news stories every day. I'm going to subscribe to that channel and I'm going to check these out every day, right? It's something that can genuinely add engagement and discoverability to a channel, all right? However, <clears throat> here's the problem, all right? As you know, I am one of the most prolific streamers out there. I'm here all day streaming. I'm here from 10 in the morning till almost 10 at night with a break in between for dinner, but I'm here constantly streaming. I don't just do one podcast and walk away for the rest of the day. Because of that, I don't really have opportunity to sit down, review my content, decide what's split worthy and split it out. And I'll give you an example, all right? When I finish this stream, it ends at 4 p.m. That's around a six hour stream and it takes YouTube, no exaggeration, hours to process that stream. I can't even just skip around the stream and get timestamps or anything properly until that thing processes, which could take two, three hours minimum to even work properly. In addition, I don't know where the pertinent stories start and begin. I don't know what you guys would find to be the most pertinent stories. You know what I'm saying? Like, for example, today I would say, yeah, definitely this Activision Blizzard story is the biggest one. That could be a clip worthy of being clipped out and being a separate video. But I don't know every day what you guys find to be uh, the most you know, notable content, being honest. What you may not realize is YouTubers who frequently do this practice are much bigger than me and they actually pay people to do this. You can actually have someone become an administrator of your channel and have access to all of your video content. And that person can go in and actively go through a stream once it processes, find those stories, clip them out, highlight them and create separate videos. And that's what YouTubers do. They don't do it themselves. They actually pay people as employees to go do that for them, especially someone who works a lot, you know, or someone who's bigger than me who has the money to do that. I'll be honest, I just don't, already I'm in here all day long. I don't have time to wait for my stream to process, come in when it processes, go through a 20 or, or a two hour stream, find the thing, clip it out, name it. I would never leave this office. You know what I'm saying? I would never have time to be with my family at this point. Um... Sadly, I just don't think it works for me. I think that it makes sense. The practice makes sense. Absolutely, it does. The practice does make sense. I like the idea. I think that it's a grand idea, and it could genuinely help this channel because I cover news topics every day. Most people don't know that, right? They don't know that I'm covering gaming news. They think that I just do a podcast where I blab, and then I go right into games, and we dick around all that. They don't even understand I'm covering serious topics. Having videos on those topics could be very interesting and actually bring a whole new audience to this channel. But I don't see how I could viably do it because of the amount of content I put out, you know? So the question is, do I scale back my content so now I have less time to stream games, but then I have time to edit news, right? 
Or, you know, what do I do? Do I seek out someone who maybe is trustworthy, but that means giving them access to all the content on my channel and having to trust someone to do it? That sounds like a big trust thing. You know what I mean? I don't even know who I trust to do that. So, I'm going to have to think about it. I would like to hear your opinions on it, all right? What would you think? Do you think that would be a benefit to the channel? I like the idea. I seriously do. I put effort into researching these stories and trying to give you my honest takes on them every day. I wish more people knew about those takes besides people who just happen to watch the podcast every day, you know? It would be great to have those so so sorted out or separated out or whatever. Um, but I don't know. I, I don't know realistically how to make that viable, all right? So I'm open to suggestion. I'm open to opinion. I'd like to keep talking about this moving forward. You know what I'm saying? So let's see. Let's talk about it. Let's look into it, and let's go from there. That, ladies and gentlemen, is all I have to talk about on today's show. more than anything.